In today's video, we will look into a special register that inside the ARM microcontroller, which is called the CPSR register. And CPSR stands for Current Program Status Register. We will only focus on these four condition flag located at bit 28 up to bit 31. And this condition flag actually indicate the status or the condition of our logical and elementary outputs. So there are four different flags to represent different outputs from our logical and elementary operation. The first one is N, and N stands for negative. So whenever a logical or elementary operation that result in negative numbers, the N flag will become one. Otherwise, it will be zero. The second flag represent by J is the zero flag. Whenever there's a logical or elementary operation and the result you get is zero, the jack flag will become one. And the third flag is C and C stands for carry. So whenever there's an operation, whether it's for example add or subtract, and the result is more than 32 bit as what we can put inside a 32 bit registers the extra bit out of the result will goes to carry same case for subtraction if you need to subtract a smaller number to a larger number and you need to borrow it from somewhere and the somewhere come from carry and lastly we have the v and v in this case stand for overflow so overflow, there are only two conditions that are going to trigger overflow. For example, if you have a positive number and you plus with another positive number and you end up to be a negative number and this is the condition where it's going to set V flag to 1. The second condition, you have a negative number and you add it with another negative number but however you end up with the positive numbers and this also will set the flag V to 1. This conditional flag will only change when we have a sign operation, logical and elementary instruction set. For example, in this case, we have the register 1 with the value of FFFF, FFFF and register 2 with the value of FFFF, FFFE and both of these numbers can be treated as a sign or unsigned numbers. For example, if this is an unsigned numbers, this is just a normal positive numbers. If we are treated this as a sign number, we will look at the MSB of this number. So in this case, the MSB is the bit 31. If the bit 31 is one, then this number is a negative numbers. If the bit number 31 is zero, these numbers are positive numbers. So for example, if we have an operation adding R1 and, and R2 and the result is stored at R0, since we don't have a S condition for a sign operation, so the add instruction in this case will treat these two numbers as the unsigned numbers and store the result at R0. Since we are not doing any sign operation in this add instruction, none of the condition flag will be updated no matter what is the result after R1 plus R2 end up to be. However, if you have an add operation with the sign condition and with the similar register 1 plus register 2 and store the result in register 0, the difference is this is the sign operation and this is the unsigned. So with the sign operation, we have to treat the number as a sign numbers. In this case, the value, if you convert the second complement, it will end up to be a negative one. And for the value in register two, if we convert it with the second complement, it will end up with the value of negative two. If we add these two numbers, F, 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 with the FFFFFFFE, the R0 will end up to be 0x, FFFF, FFFB. 
And of course, if you convert this to decimal using second complement, it will end up with negative 3. So since negative 1 plus negative 2, the result should be negative 3. And since this is a sign operation, we can say that the MSB of this 32-bit numbers is 1 and the bit is 1. And so this is a negative numbers. And as well, if you do the add operation in the binary for this 32-bit, you will realize that there is a bit extra from the result of adding R1 to R2. This is the bit 32. So of course, the bit 31 is the MSB and the bit 32 is, is an extra bit that could not be whole inside this 32 bits placeholder. If you look at this sign operation for the add R1 and R2, you will end up with the result of negative because the MSB is 1 in this case. Negative flex will change to 1 to indicate that the output of this add operation resulting a negative numbers as well as you get carry equals to ones because if you carry out the add operation in the binary mode you will end up to be a bit 32 you end up with extra bit at bit 32 with the value of one in this context we, we will call this bit as a, a carry bit so that's why the flag at carry will become one of course, this is not a zero number, that's why the flag zero will become zero. Also, the condition doesn't meet the overflow where the negative number plus with a negative number and now with a positive numbers. Since in our case, the result is a negative number, so we never have overflow in this case. So let's look at another example. The register 1 has the value of FFFF, FFFF, and the register 2 we have the value 1. So, for example, if you're going to add sign operation, register 0 is the destination, and we're going to add register 1 with register 2. When we add these two numbers together, you will realize that the result end up in register 0 will become. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And of course, we have one extra bit that could not fit in this 32-bit placeholder. And as what we explained just now, this will become the carry bit. Since this is a sign operation, and definitely the flag will be changed accordingly to the result of R1 plus R2, so if you look at the value we found in R0, you end up with the zero value in register zero. So the zero flag will become one. Of course, this is not a negative numbers because the MSB is not one. So this definitely is not a negative numbers. And we do have a carries, which is one. And do we have an overflow? When we look into the first value, R1, this is a negative numbers because the MS, MSB is 1 and R2 is a positive numbers because the MSB is 0. So of course, in this condition, we will never met the condition that trigger overflow. So the overflow will be 0. This is the quick reference card provided by ARM for all the instruction set available in Cortex M3 microcontrollers. From this table, we can see that which of the instruction that we are using and what is the condition flag that is going to change if you are using a sign operation for that instruction set. So in this case, we have add, add with carry, when we do add sign, it's going to affect flag negative, flag zero, flag carry, and flag overflow. Same case with the add with carry, when you provide with the sign condition, and it's going to try to change all the four flags. It depends on the output of our operation. So same case with subtract, we might have a normal subtract with sign condition, 
and it's gonna affect four different flag or you might have a subtract with carries uh, when you provide the subtract carry with sign operation then four of the flag will be modified and same goes to the multiplication instruction set you have normal multiply and you have a multiply with sign operation if you look at the flag that can be affected by the multiplication instruction it's only negative 0 and C but not the overflow same case with the move data if you try to move with a sign operation and there are only three flags that, that can be affected which is negative 0 and carry but not the overflow and as well as the compare instruction that we have been using a lot in our programs so if you look at compare they actually there are no sign operation that you could put in the prefix however for all the compare or even for compare negative both of these instruction set going to modify all the four flags it depends on the output of our compare reason and if you look at the reason why is that when we write a compare instruction it end up to be a subtraction operation which is happen in, uh, inside the processors where when we compare register with uh, immediate numbers for example it actually subtract our register with the OPLAN number 2 and when we have a compare negative instruction it is actually running as an addition operation inside our processor and all the operation for compare and compare negative are sign operation that's why all the flags will be modified accordingly based on our subtraction or our addition for compare or compare negative instruction and this has become a very important table when we are developing our programs I will put the download link in the description so yeah, you can download a copy for yourself and with that that's all for today I will see you in next video